Have you ever been touched by a moment in the movies or on stage? Perhaps there's a special memory you hold dear from watching someone perform. We'd love to hear your stories and memories down below. Keep watching as we explore some interesting facts about a beloved star. In the realm of entertainment, there are icons who leave a lasting impression with their talent and versatility. One such figure captivated audiences with memorable performances, bringing characters to life on screen. Her presence resonated deeply with viewers, earning her acclaim and admiration. She wasn't just an actress, she was a storyteller who transported audiences into different worlds with each performance. Her contributions to cinema are cherished, as she paved the way for future generations of actors. This individual's impact on the entertainment industry is undeniable, making her a figure worth celebrating in the annals of Hollywood history. In the realm of Hollywood lore, there's a fascinating tale woven around a group of legendary personalities who formed a tight-knit circle during the filming of a classic movie. One member of this illustrious group later ventured into a completely different realm of entertainment, surprising many with her unexpected connection to an industry far removed from the glitz and glamour of Hollywood. During the making of a particular film, an uncredited dance double stepped in for a prominent actress who would later gain fame in a surprising role. This unexpected link sheds light on the diverse paths individuals may take in the entertainment world. Apart from professional ties, personal connections within the industry also played a significant role. One notable friendship was between two acclaimed actresses who shared experiences and forged enduring bonds amidst the challenges of show business. Looking back, this journey in Hollywood not only encompasses significant achievements, but also reveals the interconnectedness and complexities of life in the entertainment industry. In her role as Ginny Moorhead in Some Came Running, she mentioned that Frank Sinatra and Dean Martin didn't get along with Vincent Minnelli due to his focus on directing scenery rather than actors. Her portrayal as Princess Ayuda in Around the World in 80 Days involved a memorable incident during filming. She recounted how a scene with thousands of extras came to a standstill because the prop man forgot to place the bottle of champagne in the balloon with David Niven and Canton Flues. This detail seemed unlikely given the sequence of events in the film. Her family background included a father who transitioned from being a professor to a real estate agent, while her mother worked as a teacher. Embracing boldness and instinct, the lead actor of the movie dared to take on the challenge without peeking at the script beforehand. This courage stemmed from deep trust in the director's vision and the co-star's acting skills. Their teamwork had previously led to success, propelling the actor to fame in roles like the beloved character in another film. Reflecting on past experiences, the actor remembered feeling uncertain during the filming of another movie, worried about being miscast. Despite doubts, they relied on gut feelings, guiding them through various roles and industry pressures. The movie serves as a prime example of the actor's intuitive approach to their craft. With only a portion of the script in hand, they stepped into the role with anticipation, unsure of the full story. This uncertainty fueled their performance, adding layers of depth and emotion that resonated with audiences worldwide. Looking back, the actor's career highlights their unwavering belief in the creative process and the collaborative nature of filmmaking. Each role they took on showcased their willingness to take risks and trust the team's vision. Whether it was embracing a character's complexity or navigating emotional depths, the actor's impact endures as a testament to the transformative power of trust and intuition in the world of cinema. In a captivating cinematic tale, an accomplished actress embraced a role initially considered for another star. She brought depth and charm to the character, captivating audiences worldwide. Collaborating with a talented costume designer, they crafted a visual delight, showcasing an impressive variety of hairstyles and stunning gowns. Despite budget constraints, they achieved a timeless aesthetic that continues to inspire fashion enthusiasts. Adding to the allure, the film featured a dazzling gem collection on loan, elevating the opulence on screen. Fast forward to later years, the collection's value soared, a testament to its enduring beauty and the impact of the performance. Beyond this role, the actress showcased versatility in her theatrical debut, foreshadowing an illustrious career ahead. From early Hollywood days to unforgettable performances, she left a lasting impression on the silver screen, inspiring generations of actors and filmmakers. Her talent, grace, and charisma transcend time, proving that true brilliance knows no limits. Let's celebrate the extraordinary career of this cinematic legend. Right before a performance of Cinderella with the Washington School of Ballet, she was warming up backstage when she broke her ankle. Instead of bowing out, she simply tied the ribbon on her toe shoes tighter and danced the roll through. After the show was over, she called for an ambulance. 
and what a way to go. She played Louisa May Foster, her character ending up cavorting under an oil gusher, similar to her next movie, John Goldfarb, Please Come Home. She speaks Japanese fluently. After being offered a role that Joanne Woodward turned down due to her reluctance to work with Frank Sinatra, she stepped into the character of Ginny Moorhead and some came running. Her portrayal in the film solidified her reputation as a talented actress. Later in her career, she also shared her wisdom and experiences in her books Aging While Aging, offering insights on life and aging. This was one of her notable contributions beyond acting. In recognition of her lifelong contributions to American culture, she was honored at the Kennedy Center alongside notable artists such as Billy Joel, Carlos Santana, Herbie Hancock, and Martina Arroyo. This event, held in Washington, D.C., was telecast later for a wider audience to celebrate her achievements. Named after a famous child star, she gained immense fame for her acting skills. One of her notable performances was in a film titled Dance, while you can, released in the early 90s, which showcased her talent and versatility. Alongside this, she also impressed audiences in Two Mules for Sister Sarah, directed by Don Siegel. In his memoir, Siegel vividly described the challenges faced during filming, particularly highlighting her struggle with sunburn on set. To ensure her comfort and continuity in the role, professionals were brought in to manage the effects of the sun on her skin. Such dedication to her craft exemplifies her commitment to delivering exceptional performances and leaving a lasting impression on the film industry, a mark that continues to influence filmmakers and actors to this day. This narrative captures the essence of her impact on cinema, highlighting her influence on the art of filmmaking. In a timeless adventure film, a talented actress delivered a memorable performance as a princess alongside a stellar cast. This cinematic masterpiece boasted a group of highly skilled actors, making it a true gem of the silver screen. Beyond the adventure, her versatility shone through in other notable works. In one film, she skillfully portrayed a wife, while in another, she captivated audiences as a neighbor, showing her range as an actress. Both of these films were directed by a renowned filmmaker, adding another layer of prestige to her already illustrious career. Notably, she shared a daughter with her ex-husband, highlighting the depth of her personal life alongside her professional achievements. Her impact on cinema remains enduring, leaving a lasting impression on audiences worldwide. In a pivotal scene from a classic film celebrated for its emotional depth, one particular moment stands out for its authenticity. During the filming of this scene, a clever technique was employed to evoke a genuine reaction from a character who was shocked by an unexpected event. As the tension mounted, the director utilized a simple yet effective method, creating a startling sound that prompted a raw and real response from the character involved. Transitioning to another notable project, an unexpected casting choice brought a fresh dimension to the narrative, surprising not only the audience but also the main actor herself. Without prior knowledge, the presence of a certain actor added depth to the story, enhancing the overall experience for viewers. Beyond her achievements on screen, the influence of this individual extends to the literary world. Among her notable works, a particular memoir stands out as a significant contribution. Released in the early 80s, this book offers profound insights into the life and beliefs of the actress and spiritual thinker, providing readers with a deeper understanding of her perspectives and experiences. In summary, the career of this talented individual is marked by moments of brilliance both on screen and off. From capturing genuine emotions in memorable scenes to unexpected encounters in various projects, their talent continues to shine. And through their written words, audiences are granted a glimpse into the multifaceted personality behind the roles portrayed. In the realm of film history, there's a captivating story involving a famous actress and a notable movie. It all started when she was initially chosen for a role in a film about a notorious couple. However, plans changed when the lead actor decided to take on the role himself, leading to her being replaced. Later on, she took part in another movie called Steel Magnolias, where the cast and crew found themselves staying at a hotel during filming. Amidst the production, there were tales of humorous encounters and amusing incidents like when one cast member opted to switch accommodations due to privacy concerns, eventually becoming a neighbor to another cast member. This led to amusing conversations, including an inquiry about nude sunbathing, which prompted a humorous reply. In the year 1987, she also penned a book titled, It's All in the Playing. The book My Lucky Star is a Hollywood memoir was released in 1995. In Sweet Charity, she portrayed Charity. It's interesting that she got advice from Gwen Verdon, who had starred in the Broadway show, and later coached her for the film role. 
and being there, she played Eve Rand, alongside several other Oscar winners and nominees, including Melvin Douglas, Peter Sellers, and Jack Warden. It's impressive how she collaborated with such talented actors in her career, showcasing her versatility as a performer. In 2012, she received the American Film Institute's Life Achievement Award in Los Angeles. During the filming of The Children's Hour, she bonded with Veronica Cartwright, who played Rosalie. Despite warnings not to hang around her due to her frequent cursing, Cartwright found her cool and generous, becoming her mentor. In Irma Le Duce, she wasn't pleased with the script or the final film, describing it as crude and clumsy. Despite her reservations, she received a Best Actress Oscar nomination, which surprised her. She remarked, I would have been nonplussed had I won it. In an era when traditional relationships were the norm, she and her former spouse defied conventions by embracing an open relationship. While he resided in Japan with her daughter, she dedicated herself wholeheartedly to her career. During the late 1980s, she took on a new role as a teacher, leading weekend-long seminars focused on higher self-exploration. Her seminars delved into various aspects of New Age practices, sharing her unique perspectives with eager participants. One of her notable film roles faced censorship in Calcutta theaters in 1960. Despite her significant presence in the movie, a crucial rescue scene was deemed culturally insensitive and was removed. This alteration left audiences puzzled about her subsequent appearances in the film, lacking any explanation for her character's continued presence. In the world of cinema, there are certain performances that stick with us, leaving a lasting impression on audiences worldwide. One such memorable portrayal comes from a talented actor in a beloved film. Their role in this movie showcased not only their acting skills, but also their singing and dancing talents, marking a significant moment in their career. Interestingly, this film was only their second venture into the movie industry, following a successful debut in a Hitchcock film. This early success hinted at the promising career ahead for this budding actor. Beyond their on-screen achievements, this individual's influence extends to mentoring rising stars and fostering talent in their community. These connections underscore their impact on fellow actors and their willingness to support new talent. Their journey in the entertainment industry continues to inspire aspiring actors and filmmakers alike. It's a story of talent, dedication, and mentorship, showcasing the transformative power of cinema. Shirley MacLaine holds a unique position in Hollywood history. She stands as the sole actress, as of 2018, to have received Best Actress Oscar nominations for performances in films that won Best Picture. Notably, she earned nominations for her roles in the apartment, in terms of endearment, clinching the Oscar for the latter. In What a Way to Go, she portrayed Louisa May Foster. During the production, she insisted on bringing in Edith Head from Paramount to work on the film's costumes, resulting in Head's 26th Oscar nomination for Best Costume Design. Despite this effort, the award went to Sassel Beaton for his work on My Fair Lady, the Best Picture winner that year. In Two Mules for Sister Sarah, McLean played the character Sarah. However, the shoot wasn't without its tensions. She clashed openly with director Don Siegel throughout the filming process. Her career is marked not just by her talent, but also by her determination to ensure quality in her work, even if it meant butting heads with others along the way. In a notable movie role, the character played by Shirley MacLaine is introduced much later into the film, almost half an hour after it begins. This delay in dialogue adds an element of surprise when she finally appears on screen. In another film, Shirley MacLaine expressed admiration for Dean Martin's performance, noting how his portrayal aligned perfectly with the character's personality and principles. She believed his authenticity in the role was remarkable. Furthermore, Shirley MacLaine showcased her acting versatility in a British drama series, where she played a significant role as the mother-in-law of a central character, earning acclaim for her performance. Overall, the variety of roles and perspectives Shirley MacLaine brings to her acting demonstrate her depth as an artist, bringing authenticity and depth to characters across different genres and mediums. In the world of entertainment, deep friendships often blossom amidst the glitz and glamour. One such bond is between two legendary icons celebrated annually on their joint birthday. Behind the scenes of a famous production, there was a palpable camaraderie among the cast, driving them forward with unstoppable force. However, amidst the energy of the set, a hidden struggle brewed. Despite excruciating pain from a tooth infection, the individual in question persevered, determined not to let it disrupt the demanding shoot schedule. Their commitment to their craft and unwavering professionalism shone through, inspiring countless aspiring performers. 
In the tale of this particular production, the dedication to their role stands as a testament to the true spirit of a performer. One of 12 actresses who won the Best Actress Oscar for a movie that also won the Best Picture Oscar is Shirley MacLaine. She won for Terms of Endearment in 1983. Other actresses who achieved this feat include Claudette Colbert, Louise Reiner, Vivian Lee Greer Garson, Louise Fletcher, Ian Keaton, Jessica Tandy, Jodie Foster, Gwyneth Paltrow, Hilary Swank, and Frances McDormand. In Sweet Charity, Shirley MacLaine played the role of Charity. She suggested to Lou Wasserman, head of Universal Pictures, to hire Bob Foss to direct the film. Foss had previously directed and choreographed the Broadway version of the musical. Another notable role of Shirley MacLaine was in What a Way to Go, where she portrayed Louisa May Foster. A reference to her film Irma Le Duce can be seen in a scene where Louisa arrives in Paris. On the bus, she passes by Maxim's, which was prominently featured in the beginning montage of Irma Le Duce.